see if there's a COS here. <clears throat> oh, um, this is an email we received from Tam Bowser that was precipitated by um, Mike Conkey, or uh, the idea of Mike Conkey's. The uh, Ford Explorer, which is one of the county fleet vehicles, has a cracked windshield that goes from one side of the windshield to the other, which is not a good idea. Um, and also there is an issue with an old spotlight. This was a um, drug seizure car many years ago. It's a Ford Explorer. Um, it, this has been actually one of those items that the county has that saves the taxpayers a lot of money. When we reimburse an employee for using their own vehicle, it's at 50 cents, 56 cents a mile. When they use a county vehicle, it's just for the mileage. Um, the first year, one vehicle saved the county $4,800. So, and that was purchasing the vehicles late in the year. So it, it's been a substantial savings. There is upkeep. Uh, Tammy, I returned the Ford Explorer Friday morning. I washed it and cleaned the interior. If there's anything that needs to be cleaned further, please let me know and I will take care of it, thanks. Did you know that the front windshield needs to be replaced sometime soon? It has a crack on the driver's side that reflects light when driving into the sun. This, it didn't happen uh, during my use. It's been that way for some time. And it would be nice to have the spotlight on the driver's side removed. This is also a safety issue. It interferes with the turn sig signal handle while driving. I brought these issues up at Thanksgiving, at Thursday's safety meeting, and I was told to bring these forth uh, for the Commission's attention. Please call if you have questions. Thanks. Mike Conkey. So I think we should address those. Tammy has been taking care of the vehicle and when it needs uh, uh, routine maintenance, Dana's been doing that on behalf of the county. I think in view of safety, that windshield needs to replace the ASAP. Yes. Yeah. All right. Make a motion to do so, do. No second. Okay, it's been moved and seconded to move forward with making the suggested repairs by Mike Conkey for the Ford Explorer. All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. All right, next I just need a signature on a claim or an initial on a claim. And then this one, these two, I just need signatures and then we'll put in the claims pile. Signature? Yeah, and this one too. What did Mary Ellen have to offer about uh, mental health? Uh, she was not able to make the meeting, mm -hmm. so that'll be forthcoming. Thank you. And then we have uh, claims. For voucher date 318, 2014, in the amount of 42,766.01. I'll make a motion that we pay claims in the amount of 42,766.01. That's been moved and seconded to pay the claims in the amount of 43. Um, 42, 766.01. All those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. Was that a hand? Okay. He's scratching my ear. <laughs> Thank you. And the um, last piece of mail, kind of, is the fair, or excuse me, the Rodeo Club contract. We had a meeting last week with both the Fair Board and the Rodeo Club regarding the contract. And
on those buildings. Um, they don't yet have insurance on them. They are looking around. There are some issues that they have um, regarding the replacement costs. Seem very high to them. What we determined is it probably is based on the fact that the county would have to go to Davis Bacon to replace those buildings, whereas a volunteer club could use a whole lot more volunteer labor, which would cut down the cost quite a bit. So what they are looking for so that they can start planning the fair and the rodeo is an assurance that we will be signing the contract. I asked uh, Mike Seistad if there was a way that we could sign the contract with a disclaimer that said this is uh, pending uh, appropriate coverage by a particular date in May, and I haven't heard back. The deadline is May, <clears throat> but I was wondering, uh, we did this with uh, the citizens on River Road who came forward and wanted to uh, have a cost share plan with the county for magnesium chloride on that road. And I was wondering if we could do the same thing, and that is have a vote on the record that we do support the signing of this contract and when pending the appropriate insurance, so that they have the insurance um, and know what to expect. Um, and then the only question is, Franklin had an issue with uh, 10 years over five. Um, if we want to determine at this point in the motion whether we'd be signing a 10-year or a five-year contract on their behalf. What's your thoughts, Franklin, on that, the contract length? I don't know. That one time we talked about, we were talking about five, you mm -hmm. know, so how, how do you feel on that? I, I'm flexible either way. Mm -hmm. um, same with me. It doesn't make a difference. I, only thing I, I guess I brought, because the first time I was here about it, afterwards we just mm -hmm. kind of informal discussion, you know. And at that time, I know you kind of, you're, I think you brought up the, the five year. And I did, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, but I think the two groups are working together pretty well right now, so mm -hmm. so I'm not as okay. iffy as yeah. I was. Yeah. And I guess, you know, if there's any big problems out there, uh, the county can only step in, mm -hmm. in the future. But yeah. at this point, it doesn't look like, like you say, everything seems to be yeah, working out. Yeah, it's fine with me. I will make a motion then that we sign the contract with the Fair and Rodeo Board. Are both names on there? Uh, I have it with me. I think it's just the Rodeo Club that we're signing with. <clears throat> but I think we should make a motion without hearing, having heard back from Mike on this, just to assure them that we will be signing the contract. Um, as soon as we get word on the insurance. Mm -hmm. um, no, it is the uh, Broadwater Rodeo and Fair Association, Inc., um, a corporation um, here and referred to as the Rodeo Association. But the fair is listed with them, is that what you just read? But, but I think the kicker is that's their registered name and has been all along. It's not part of the fair board, it's uh, just their registered name. Yeah, because on the signing, it's the Broadway Rodeo and Fair Association, Inc., President, the City of Townsend, and the County of Broadwater. So, Say whatever you think. You're the one. You're more versed on that. <laughs> Royal agreement, all that that's been going on there for than probably anybody else. Are you saying I'm old, Frank? <laughs> <laughs> or just been involved for a long time? <laughs> been involved for a long time. <laughs> Either one works. So. <laughs> well, but I'm sure uh, you've been with the longer, well, longer than anybody that's out there now. Yes. Be. You know, the very first year of the rodeo, this is back in my slender days, <laughs> I was a candidate for rodeo queen, clear back then. Oh. And so we've been involved since day one. Yeah. Yeah. 
That would have been in about 65, 66 in there, wasn't it? Before that. Was it before that? 64. 64. So um, we have that understanding that they have to have insurance. Mm -hmm. I'm not willing to sacrifice the county for that. No. No. Yeah. Was that a motion or? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she has been. All right. <laughs> it has been moved and seconded to assure the rodeo club that we will sign the contract for ten years. As presented, I guess. And that's what it says on there. Mm -hmm. Right, they changed it to 10 years. That's yeah. what John so brought presented. forward to us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as presented. Okay, as presented. Um, with the assurance, or upon signature and completion of adequate insurance. Yep. All those in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Yeah, I did. Yeah, I didn't hear you. Uh, of the motion carries. Okay, we will let them know about that. Um, there is a couple of uh, minor changes to the agenda. These are not official. They, it was not reposted. There can be no dis, uh, no decisions made. But Brenda needs to see us this afternoon regarding the horses, and I asked her to come in around two. And then uh, Bill Duty wants to also talk to us about that canal, show us pictures, and uh, I told him if he could just stop by around two thirty and talk to us. We'll treat both those two as um, more of a public comment type situation. Speaking of the horses, I got a phone call from a lady that says kudos to everybody that was involved and that needed to be done. And uh, She's been out, going out and brushing the horses and loving on them, so yeah. she thought it was a great thing. I want everybody to know that. That's cool. There's been quite a few volunteers, which... Yes. Know, these kinds of things, as, as awful as they are, they really do bring out the best in a lot of people. So, um, 11.45, I see no COS. We will go ahead and recess for lunch. Sounds good to me. All right. Thank you. We'll be back at 1.30.